What's up YouTube, it's Diaris here. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stumbling across this channel, um, just to kind of give you the gist of things here, but uh, I am a photographer. I do mainly street photography and portraits. And in this channel here, you'll mostly see a lot of vlogs dealing with photography, um, or I have my small talk series where I actually talk about anything regarding to the photography field. Um, but this is a small growing channel. Um, I am a Fujifilm enthusiast. So if you are into those things, I will suggest for you to subscribe, like this video and enjoy. Now, this video is a little bit different Now we know across the country, many cities, many states are protesting and some of those protests have become riots. Um, and with regards of that, I do feel like that as artists or as photographers in, in my take, that we are the medium with the people. We are that medium between um, documenting these events and being the eyes and ears of the oppressed or for the people in general. And I feel like as artists, we should not be silent on these matters. We should actually be talking about it. We should be speaking on it. Um, and I feel like that's the way how we express ourselves. You know, we, as photographers, we're showing people the world that we see. And that's what I'm doing here. And here in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, we also had a, it was a peaceful protest at first that later became a riot in downtown. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be a part of the protest when it started during the day when it was peaceful um, because I had work, but I was able to document the riot, the aftermath that happened downtown of all the people who are just angry and upset with everything that's going on and they're just, they're looking for ways to be seen, they're looking for ways to be heard and <clears throat> this is actually like my first time being in this type of environment. Now I've always been in protest, but I've never been in like into a riot situation. So it was a little of an adrenaline rush. Um, it was also <clears throat> a little scary, but um, there was something surreal about it. Um, and I kept telling people that between myself and the rioters or just the people protesting, there was some type of small connection that we had. Now, in any other day, these people, maybe I've never would have reacted. I mean, I've, I've never would have interacted with them. Um, maybe we've never would have been friends. You know, I don't know the people, they don't know me, but there was something there. There was some type of connection there that they enjoyed my presence being there because of, you know, I'm having the camera. They know that I was documenting these life events and they wanted to be in front of the camera. Um, and it was just, it was, it was very strange and weird, but it also made me a little happy in a way because I had a connection with these people. I understand where they were coming from. Of course, I'm a black man. Now, I'm not going to go too much into that, but there was there was just a connection there. And it's a feeling. It's like, even though I'm here with a camera, even though it kind of seems like I'm outside of the event, like they're in their own little bubble and I'm outside of it, I also felt like I was part of that bubble as well, but I was in like a different zone, um, if that makes sense. Um, you know, it was just like I was just in this invisible force surrounding them and recording it uh, to be able to present to the world or for people to see it here. Um, and as you see through the photos throughout the video here, um, I just want to show you like <clears throat> how powerful um, these events, you know, how, you know, uh, in, in the streets of downtown Atlanta. Um, and I've, I've never seen anything like this personally. I've seen stuff like this on the news and video, but actually being inside there in those moments, it was, um, <clears throat> it was definitely an experience. But uh, I just kind of want to um, get that off my chest and express my feelings on the matter and just really want to talk about that. Um, you know, we shouldn't be close minded on these matters. We shouldn't be quiet on these matters, especially if you're someone who who is an artist. Like the whole point about being an artist is being open completely. We are so vulnerable. Um, you know, photographers, our work that we're showing is a part of us. So 
which is why you know we're very sensitive of our, of our work um and yeah i just think we are we are the eyes and ears of the people so um yeah i mean that's pretty much all i have to say here i hope you guys enjoyed the photos here um you know i'll probably have them play out a little bit um once i'm done talking but um yeah i mean i hope you guys uh, enjoy the photos um and really just take your time and look at them and just See if you feel the same thing I felt when I was walking the streets with these people here um, in downtown Atlanta, Georgia. But with that, guys, that is all for me here today. So I'm going to go and I hope you guys enjoy this video or at least have it kind of, you know, uh, you know, make you think a little bit about the situation, about what's going on. So with that, guys, as always, keep the dreams alive. Peace.